So someone left a comment for me on one of my videos asking me for my wisdom on money hungry exes. <laughs> now, I really don't have a lot of experience with this. Um, it's not like I would have any money to give any of my exes anyway. <laughs> but I don't know. This is such a like Dr. Phil type of question. <laughs> I personally, in these type of situations, I perceive them as usually being incorrect. Like, the person that thinks the other person is just out for their money, usually I think that is wrong. And the other person is usually um, seeking out, like, an emotional closure or are feeling angry and resentful maybe for something you did in the relationship or how the relationship ended or if you cheated. And there's usually, like, something deeper going on there. I don't think that the money thing is usually something that happens. I think especially guys perceive that to be happening a lot, like, oh, she's a gold digger or something like that. But I don't think that's usually the case. I think that's pretty rare actually for that to happen also considering that most people really don't have that much money and you know I think if, if that is the case um a lot of times it's justified like you know um like single moms going after their baby daddy for child support being an example or trying to get a divorce settlement and trying to, you know, get as much as you can, which I guess I can understand that. But I think usually there's a lot of complicated stuff going on there. I don't think it's usually about the money. I think that's a nice way to try and excuse your behavior or how the relationship ended or something like that. So, I don't know. I think that it's always helpful to talk to the other person about it, too, and just see what's going through their heads. And maybe getting, like, a therapist or something like that involved, too, can be really helpful. Otherwise, if it really is, like, somebody going after your money, I would just say to, like, not engage with them. Just don't contact them. Don't be friends with Facebook. Don't be friends on Facebook with them. You know, don't email them. Don't text them. Like, just don't have contact. And then you don't have to deal with that. So those are my words of wisdom. I'm not sure how helpful that was. But there you have it.